The news that we're getting back from Myanmar about the cyclone from last week continues to get worse and worse. The information and the statistics are worse. Tens of thousands dead. The number keeps rising. Hundreds of thousands uh, displaced, homeless, orphaned, uh, maybe up to, uh, some say, over, over a million, and that number keeps getting worse. Uh, the, the problem is you have a large number of, of organizations, like Direct Relief International, that want to help, but there's a, a, a wall that's been put up around the country for, at least until now, about getting aid in. So um, we have organizations that we would like to work with that are trying to provide assistance on the borders of India, in Thailand, uh, and we're trying to see what we can do to help them, either with the $60 million of, of medical aid that we have here, uh, in, in products, or in some cash donations. Cyclones seem to affect the health situation in stages. At first, of course, with the storm and the, and the winds, which ripped up uh, homes and, and buildings, there was blunt trauma, injury, and death from, from the winds. That was the first. Then the winds brought a wall of water. We were hearing 12 feet, sorry, a 12 foot high wall of water that came in from, from the bay, from the south, up through the country, including uh, Yangon, former Rangoon, the former capital, which kind of, which was the next, killed the next number of people and the next group of injuries. Uh, and now six days later, you're starting to have the after effects of, of, of lack of water, lack of food, lack of sanitation, uh, uh, dehydration, diarrhea. I just got a call from India saying that a cholera epidemic is already breaking out because of the numbers, uh, the great numbers of bodies that aren't being removed or disposed of. Well, we've got 60 million dollars worth of supplies, uh, in-kind product of medical supplies right now, although that number doesn't say a lot. It maybe gives an idea of the volume, but we have supplies that, that uh, are this range, the spectrum of, of medical supplies from uh, pharmaceuticals, supplies and equipment, very basic primary care, things like gauze, bandages, band-aids, needles, sutures for, for basic injury, analgesics for pain, uh, as well as more sophisticated antibiotics, oral rehydration salts for diarrhea, uh, it, a, a vast am amounts of supplies that will help with the basic injuries that are there. Not everything, of course, but it's enough that other precious resources or financial resources can be used to buy what we, what we can't provide.